Hello, my loves. Um, right, I've got tonsillitis, so apologies for my voice. Um, I've been sent by, or oh, who knew, I can't say the word, this beautiful poly gel set. And as you know, I've tried poly gels. I don't mind poly gels, but this one includes the dual forms. So I thought I'm actually going to give it a go. Um, <clears throat> there's loads of colours in this set. There's everything you need. You've got the full instructions there that explain everything. You've got four glitters, nail clippers, cuticle nippers. You've got a pushing back tool and scraping tool, nail file. You've got the dual forms. You've got everything. Um, basically, with this kit, I was able to give myself a set of nails and then I just added a little extra to it. So you've got the slip solution, you've got the brush, which has the brush on one side. Now, when you get these, you need to just give them a wiggle and get the um, residue out from the bristles because that's what holds the bristles together. The other side is like a spatula. Got the slip solution, just pour a little bit into the lid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch every colour and then do myself some nails. So the first colour is white, WH2. Now I've used white poly gel before, not from this company, and it didn't even set. It was rubbish and it was really firm. And the first thing I noticed about this poly gel is it's very soft, really pliable. And I honestly, I went into this thinking, I'm not even sure I'm gonna <laughs> like this. And I came out of it really pleasantly surprised and happy. So we all learn. Um, so I'm just patting it out into the dual form and then I cured it 60 seconds but I cured it on both sides and then popped it out look there you go perfectly cured beautiful shiny little nail and I was impressed I gotta say I was impressed so the next color I'm gonna do is p3 and it's like a translucent pink so Again, just squirt it out. It's not hard to squirt. I've got poorly hands and this poly gel is easy to get out of the tube. It's nice and soft. And we're going to do the same on this one. Just pat it out. It's a nice translucent pink colour. So obviously the thinner you have it, the more translucent it will go. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my throat. I literally have a raging tonsillitis. I've got penicillin though, so I should be better soon. Um, and then we're just going to gently, and I found that uh, like some poly gels I had were really sticky and not very nice. This was really good. And also it didn't really get lots of air bubbles in it. So we we'll just take that pinky one out. There you go. Nice translucent pink. On to, is that P9? Yes, P9. This is a really cute baby pink quite intense great pigmentation I'm telling you I'm really impressed I wasn't sure um, when the company asked if I'd like to review it I I wasn't sure I was because I've had bad experiences with other brands I was like oh I don't really know if I should bother don't want to waste their time and their product but actually I'm glad I did because I really really like it look at the pigmentation on it it's so beautiful. Look at that. Just pop it out. Ha! <laughs> Still baffles me. I've removed my other nails. That's why my left hand looks a bit gnarly. But look how true the colour is to the bottle as well. This is N7. So this is a nude. So the P is pink. N is nude. And I'm very impressed because you've got the nude, a couple of nude shades. Then you've got like a brown tone as well, which is really pretty. So this is nude seven and seven. Now, in the past, I have struggled to find a nude poly gel that I feel holds up enough to do a nail bed without air bubbles and with good pigmentation. And I'm pretty sure this is the one. This is the one I would use. And if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do it again, I'll buy more because it's a really strong nude and and the opacity is great. So it would make a fantastic nail bed color. Look at that dead impressed I am it's blown my socks off this is N4 which is a slightly uh, it's like got more of an uh, orangey warmer tone to it so it's a warmer nude a bit lighter but a bit warmer 
but I like that they have different tones because it suits different skin tones, doesn't it? And it's got more beige in it as well, I think. I'm no colour expert. <clears throat> but again, another beautiful coverage. Really lovely. Just pop it out. I like the fact you get everything in the kit as well. Because my daughter's at uni and she said, Mum, can you teach me to do my own nails with dual forms? And initially I said, I am the worst person to ask because I can't use them. But I've cracked it now. Can't wait to show you. Another pink, P7. This is similar to the other pink, slightly lighter. So more along the baby pink, a bit less intense. Very cute colour. Love that. This is the brown shade, BR3. Well, it's in the browns, it's nude brown, really. Um, it's a really good color, actually. I like this a lot. Then we are on to the clear. Now these next ones are colour changing and I didn't even know if they'd work to be honest. I wasn't I wasn't sure what they'd look like but um, the cool pigment on it is a really hot pink, really pretty. It's not bright bright pink, it's more deep. It's really nice. And then when it's uh, hot it goes like a creamy colour, creamy white, almost like... Um, what can I compare it to? CJP Coconut Milk. There you go, look. So it's, it's almost completely white and it cools down quite quick as well. Uh, so yeah, absolutely beautiful. Either colour looks really nice. There's me like blowing on it, like make it wet, blow on it and starts to cool down. See, isn't that pretty? So clever. I get mesmerised even after all these years of working with colour changing products, they still blow my tiny little brain. Um, so I've got the rest of the colour changing ones here. I will let you watch those and give my throat a rest.
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I I'm searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head Okie dokie, so it's time for me to do my nails I'm sizing up the forms Now as far as I'm aware They have to fit really really well And it's better for them to be a little bit big than a little bit small Am I right? I'm hoping I'm right I'm using all the tools that came with the kit so I'm pushing back my cuticles and then I'm using the blade bit to scrape away any excess. There's no other prep tools being used at all. Just to show you that if this is all you've got, you can work with it. Absolutely. The only thing that wasn't in the kit, and so I didn't do that step, and so far the nails have held out perfectly, is pr uh, dehydrator and primer. It wasn't included, so I didn't use any. And honestly, my nails are fine. So this particular product obviously doesn't require it, otherwise it would have been in the kit. So again, just pushing back those cuticles nice and gently. I mean, I only did my nails about a week ago, so there's not much there, but mine do kind of grow quite sticky on the nail plate. And then after that, I'm gonna use the file that they gave me. Now, my only critique here would be, it would be useful for beginners if they had written on the file what grit it was. I knew by touch which side was the 180 and which side was definitely a harsher grit, but I wouldn't have known that six years ago. I would have been like, ah! So for the company, I think if they could just pop the number 180 on the side that is 180 even, that would be really helpful. And I'm not pressing down. I know it looks like I am, but I'm not. It's just awkward. I'm just cack handed. I was actually really poorly when I was filming this. Uh, really really feeling really dreadful so <clears throat> I, I was generally a bit cack handed <laughs> but I'm just buffing the surface of the nail and then I'm gonna brush it off with my brush that I've got and that's it straight in with base coat which felt really strange but we did it did it as they've supplied the base coat we're going in with the base coat their base coat says thin layer um, which is what I always do with poly gel and kind of scrub it into the nail because it creates like a Velcro sticky surface, which really, really helps. I mean, I've used a lot of poly gels and everything I will say, always the same, thin base coat, scrub it into that nail surface, that poly gel will stick. I'm using N7 <clears throat> because I felt that it was the nude shade that suited me best. Um, so I'm just going with this. Now, you've seen me do this once. It was a disaster. I never touched dual forms ever, ever again. But I've watched Absolute Nails. I've watched Nikki do them a few times. So I've picked up some tips. Um, and yeah, I think I was ready to take the plunge. Uh, it was a little bit intimidating because it's so new to me. I'm such a traditional, like, tips or forms. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to... Um, look at the length of it and then sort of slide it gently on. Now, if you're better than me at this, please don't diss me. I mean, this is only my second ever time doing these, but I wanted to show that you don't have to be really good at it to do it. Like you can just, if you're a beginner, you can do this. <clears throat> Turn the nail upside down and I want all that away from my skin and I want it spread. So even if it makes the nail a bit longer, you don't want fat lumpy bits underneath because apart from anything, it's setting really close to your skin. Um, and I'm sure that's quite an allergy risk. So push it away from your skin, even if it makes the nail a bit longer. Cure it for 60 seconds. I cured the underneath and the top, so 60 seconds on each side. Um, and then you just, I give it a squeeze and it started to release, look. And then I just gave it a wiggle. Now, when I've seen people do this, it made my knees go funny because I thought it was painful. It's not painful at all. Look at that, I've got a nail. I've got a bloody nail, look. Look at that. 
ha. I was well made up. I was like, yeah. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like is that they put their stress point in the center of the nail and you don't have an apex in the back third. So I filed down the center a little bit to balance it later on. But um, that's a preference because some people prefer the curved nails and in different countries, they're actually, they place their apex in the center. Um, it's, it's just down to the way that we're taught, I guess. So no one's better than any other. I mean, balance wise, it makes more sense to have your apex in the back third so that your nail doesn't overbalance too soon and then put stress on the natural nail right far back, sort of where the, where the linear, I can't say it, the linear is, but each to their own, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna carry on and apply these now. I've sped it up and I've also, I've only shown you the first couple and then I kind of jump around a bit on the last two so you don't have to watch the whole agonizing process. But let's just say I'm impressed. I'll let you watch this. So just like that, I've got a set of nails. Mm. I'm now going to use the file they've given me on the 180 grit side. This was very soft to file, which was fantastic. Very easy to file, very smooth. Um, and I'm just going to create the shape I want. Uh, take away some of that central sort of mass of product and just smooth out the surface. Now, one thing that I noticed is that you don't get so much of a C curve underneath or I didn't maybe I was doing something wrong again because this is something I'm not experienced at so I did take my e file with a little cone bit and just add a C curve and that's personal preference that's something I prefer I believe that it, it keeps the nails strong because it evenly distributes the weight of any stress point um, so yeah, that's just something I did. I did it off camera because I just thought, oh, I need to do that. But as you can see, it's very quick and easy to file this product. And I'd rather have too much and file a bit back than have not enough and think, oh, bugger. So 
<clears throat> I showed you filing one nail because once you've filed one nail, you've filed them all, you know? You don't need to see every single bit. Do I sound like an old lady? I feel my tonsils hurt so bad. And then I, I have got a buffing block which I chose to use. It doesn't come in the kit, but it was just me. So apologies for using something. It was automatic. I just grabbed my buffing block. So they're all filed, look. There we are. Now it's time to be blessed with the bling. I couldn't resist it. I couldn't resist, I'm sorry. This is the new Summer Skies mix from Alina, which is my crystal brand. It's available on the website. The mix is less than 10 pounds. Get in there, people. And this is the big bag of 1,440 AB Alina crystals in mixed sizes. And my pro pickup tool, which is nearly out of stock. And I don't know if I'll be able to get this particular one back. So once these are gone, they're probably gone. We're going to have to uh, uh, re... What's the word? I can't. Redesign. Uh, so I've applied some builder gel because it's just a bit more sticky i can't use adhesive because i react to it so i've applied builder gel look at that look look how pretty that is and basically i'm just blinging these to the gods i mean i am just going all out with the sparkle because a nude nail with a ton of bling on it is like heaven to me it speaks to my soul so i will let you watch me bling this up so this big teardrop one is from <clears throat> the summer skies mix I'll let you watch this bit and then I will see you at oh and also once I'd blinged up <clears throat> off camera because it would have bored you I did add a load of beautiful uh, small metallic like the little caviar beads they really do finish a set and I'm very happy to let you know that they will be in stock on the website very very soon as will a load of other things and I am so excited to show you guys I could just burst there is a new crystal mix launching this Friday um, it's not a mix it's a it's one color it's a new crystal um, bulk pack and it's a rose pink like a light pink with an AB finish it's going to be absolutely stunning and perfect for this time of year so that will be launching Friday so keep your eyes open look there we are We've done the bling and I've added those of the caviar beads. I've got them coming in in three different colours, rose gold, silver and gold. This is their top coat. It is a no white top coat. <clears throat> My voice went so funny. No wipe top coat. And it's the 60 second cure. So I'm just adding that. Look at it. That's a really good top coat. I mean, I'm looking at my nails and they're so shiny still a really good top coat it's quite thin though so careful it doesn't like leak out the sides which it did with me and then I cured all around the gems and here we go thank you for dealing with me and my croaky voice thank you to the company for allowing me to review this and yeah check out the website I'll be linking their website and I'll be linking my crystals I'll see you in my next video tally bye